YouTube viewers, listen to me very closely and like, share, and subscribe too. Did our Savior Jesus ever cuss? Did did Jesus ever say something he shouldn't? Was Jesus ever rude to anybody? <laughs> did did he say that we should cuss or talk bad when we're mad, worried, or ticked off? No. He said we we should love our neighbors as ourselves. Jesus said that we should do do unto, do unto others as we should have as we would have them do unto you. That is in Matthew seven. So keep that in mind. Our Savior, Christ never ca called somebody a f in this or a, or a or a f in this or that. Did did Christ ever call somebody a f in this or a sh that? Did he ever use the words f and sh? Did he did he ever use language like that? No. And we are supposed to be as Christ is. He said we should do, we should follow his, his example and do what we have seen or do what we have read in his word that he did. And every word of the Holy Bible is true. And the, the, Bible also says that he has spent much time in prayer. And and like I just said, Christ never cussed. He never called somebody a F and this or a BS that. He never used, he never under any circumstances called somebody a vulgar name. He he never under any circumstances cussed or or said F this, F that, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. He never used that kind of language, and neither should we. So, so, li so, listen to me. He, he prayed all night before he chose his 12 disciples. Listen. Since he, since he never cussed, and our Bible tells us that he spent much time in in prayer, and us and and I I I stress the point, he never cussed. He never cussed. I am stressing that point for a reason. He never cussed or talked bad. And his word says that that he he spent much time in prayer so listen that that is another reason that we need that we need to spend more time in in prayer seeking him whenever there is nothing wrong in our lives whenever we're not having any type of problems or issues whenever our lives are going great during the time that we have set aside on a daily basis to pray about the problems we have dur during that time when when our lives are going great and, and and wonderful during that time every day good or bad times alike if it's if we're having bad times, we need to set a, a, an hour aside 
if we're having good if we're having good times we need to set a half hour aside I repeat we need to set um, uh, sorry we need to set a half hour for good times an hour for bad times half an hour just to seek him half an hour just to pray about the problems we have or if we have if 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 we're not too run down with with earthly responsibilities if we have the free time to we need to spend an hour with him but no matter what circumstances you may have in your life you need to set it you need you need to set aside at least a half hour for him and and for those of you who who get on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you need to you need to either post on your social media the night before or or 10 to 15 minutes before you start before you start spending time with him that during this time every day I highly 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 recommend during your lunch hour break on your way home or right after you get home from work I highly recommend that during that time or I mean that before you you start that time with him post post on your so, social media send, send all your loved ones a text and say I'm sorry but for the next half an hour to an hour I will not be answering any calls I will not be answering any texts and I don't, and I and I don't want any company before before you you start that time you you need to post on Facebook Twitter and send texts and calls and say I'm sorry but but for the next half an hour to an hour however long you intend to set aside for him say during this time I do not want any calls texts or visitors during that time I will not be I will not I will not be answering any work any emails for work or any other reason say during this time unless it is a life or death emergency for the next half an hour to an hour I will not be answering any calls texts emails tweets or Instagram posts or visitors say during this time I do not want company please respect that say say this is my time that I have set aside for my Savior who died on the cross for me say if you just have to visit with someone during this time please choose someone other than me this is my time with him and I want left alone don't don't be rude but 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 be straightforward and tell them right out during this time I do not want company I want to be left alone and and set your alarm for every day for the time you choose for the time frame and time of day you choose every day and during that time either turn your phone off or on do not disturb during that time if you have a cordless phone in your home take take your cordless phone either outside or or in another room during that time un, un, unless you use your iPhone or iPad for your Bibles unless you use your iPad or iPhone for Bibles take them both in the other room and turn on do not disturb on both devices too and then if you have an Amazon Echo in the room with you yeah. either set a timer or or set an alarm for the time you'll be done and 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 
then if if something's bothering you for the first half hour pray pray about that then for the second hour for the second hour spend time with him and ask him and ask him ask him to make you one with him ask him to make you one with him for the second half hour so so listen to me if you have said or done anything wrong read lamentations 3 and first john chapter 1 and john chapter 8 and then then for faith for faith read matthew chapter read matthew chapters 5 through 7 and mark 11 Then, then, pray about what's ever on your mind. Ask him, to, ask him to give you peace. Ask him to heal your body. If you're sick in your body, read Isaiah 53. And, and, no matter what's bothering you, I also forgot to mention, read Isaiah 54 too. And then, then worship him for a few minutes. And after that, talk to him about whatever, whatever's on your mind. Because worship can and will change your um, atmosphere. Because worship ushers in his holy presence so if you can set your timer for an hour and 15 minutes I, sh I sh should say I said I said earlier to set your timer for an hour when when sp spending time with him for an hour well I sh well I I should have said set your timer for an hour and 15 minutes 15 minutes for worship half an hour for praying about worries and then half an hour asking him to make you one with him and then after after you worship him first things first whatever you're af afraid of read read Isaiah 9 53 and, and 54 Mark 11 John 8 and first and first John chapters 1 and 4 and like I said I'm, I'm correcting myself take an hour and 15 minutes 15 for worship 15 for problem prayer 15 at asking him to make you one with him and 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 like I said 15 for worship well I mean after after worship talk to read the passages I've mentioned and and ask him to take care of whatever's on your mind bothering you and then after after that time ask him to make you one with him and and if you have if you have any decision to make ask him to tell you which direction to turn if if you have any type of decision to make no matter no matter what kind it is during that time when when you're asking him to make you one with him also ask him which way to turn ask him what to do ask him if you should turn left or right ask him if you should go this way or that do that during the time when you're asking him to make you one with him And, and and since I had to correct correct myself and and, and and say and and correct you and and tell you that that you should take an hour and 15 minutes so you could worship him before before you start that time 
text and call and let all your friends and loved ones know that during that during that hour and 15 minutes you will not want you do not want any company tell them you do not want any calls texts emails facebook posts or visitors or even facetime calls tell them during that time your your phone will be either off or on do not disturb and your iPad will either be off or on do not disturbed and 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 tell them tell them whichever one you don't use for Bible reading and worship they'll either be off on do not disturb or in another room and 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 just politely tell them from now on during during this time I will not be answering any calls, texts, and I and I do not want any visitors. But but don't be rude, do it politely. I repeat, don't be rude, do it politely. Now before I can end this video, there's one thing I need to do. Satan, I rebuke and bind you, and I, command, and I command you to let me speak plainly during this portion of this video. In Jesus' name. And I and I bind every evil spirit that would prevent me from, from speaking plain to. In Jesus' name. Now, YouTube viewers, listen. Jesus, listen to me. Jesus gave his life for you. Our Savior and Lord gave his life for you. So, what's the reason you're not setting that time aside for him? He came to this earth and, and, and they put nails in his hands so you could be healed. He was killed so you could be set free from drug addiction, pornography addiction, whatever. Jesus died for you. I repeat. He died for you. Jesus died for you. Now, why are you so stubborn and lazy that you won't spend that time with him? If someone died for you and rose again, why would you be so dang stubborn, selfish, foolish, and lazy that you wouldn't take that time to spend with him and him alone? He loves you enough. He died for you so you could be saved. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he, sent his only, that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world, world to condemn it but to save it there is no judgment awaiting those who trust him but those who do not trust him have already been judged for not for not believing in him their judgment is based on that so youtube viewers for those of you for those of you who are family and 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 friends of those who take my advice, please leave the people who take my advice that you know alone. Leave the people who watch this video that decide to, to take this advice, please, if you're a friend or relative of theirs, during the time they set aside every day, please leave the people alone. Call, text, or visit someone else during that time. They need that time and so do I. Keep that in mind. Because Jesus <laughs> listen Christ Jesus is God's son. He is God who was sent in the flesh to us. He is just as much God 
as the Heavenly Father who sent him down here in the flesh to die for me and you. So I cannot stress this enough. He did not sin. He did not cuss. He did not talk bad. He did not look at pornography. He did not look at any of that. So, so right after work or right before work or whatever time you choose, set that time aside for Set that time aside for Jesus because he died for you and he loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus loves you. Now set that time aside for nobody but him.